Hello, welcome to the Squirrel Tale. Today I'm going to do a video on making a powder measure out of a piece of antler. So, the first thing I'm going to do is take a piece of antler like this. And I'm going to mark it where I want to um, cut it. Now you want for antler selection straight and wide makes the best powder measure um, obviously most of us have brass powder measures like this but sometimes it's cool to have something a little more period or traditional and that's why the antler ones are kind of cool uh, I would still suggest, if you're new to black powder, getting a one of the brass ones. They're relatively inexpensive, and then you can figure out what load your gun likes the best. So I'm going to put that piece of antler in the vise, and cut on my Sharpie line. Get rid of that, the waste. Now that I got my piece of antler, I'm then gonna lightly square up the top. With a file. The next thing I want to do is figure out how deep to drill my hole. Now, I don't know if this will come into focus, but I'm going to take a brass measure. And I'm going to set it to whatever grain I want to do. In this case, I'm making a 70 grain measure. And then, I'm going to take a smaller pilot drill. And... I can just, I, mean, I know I'm fumbling around a lot, but set it, put my drill bit in there to get my depth, and mark the drill bit with a sharpie. I'm then going to mark center here and then take a knife and get a center hole after that I'll put my pilot drill You know, I'm just using a standard drill. You can use a wireless. You could do it with a hand drill. Tighten in the chuck. And then I'm going to drill down to my Sharpie mark. And you really gotta look to make sure you're not going at an angle at all. And then you get your pilot hole drilled. After that, you take a drill. The easiest thing to do is to take a drill bit that's roughly the size of your measure put it in there and then because of the drill tip I want to go a little bit higher 
and draw a line. Again, now set your depth. And now this is going to be fun. For the big drill you want to chuck it up good in the vise. Now I got that hole pretty much drilled out. I don't think I'm going to go any further because I'm getting pretty close to the wall. But I do have a hole down there. So then, now I'm going to check to see how it is. I want to make sure all the antler dust is out of there. I'm going to take some powder and pour it in my brass measure. Now I'm going to dump it in here. And well, let's see. Yeah, I have I need to go a little hair deeper. Now looking at this, I can tell I'm getting really close to the one side. So I'm actually going to get a smaller drill bit to do the last little bit. That way I don't push a hole through the side. And I have my pilot hole so I'll get it straight. So this is... Um, a 516 straw bit. So that's a lot smaller than... The 13 30 second drill bit that this is, or yeah, the 13 that's just under a half inch. So, after I drill it a little bit more, so now I'm gonna check it again. So that didn't quite make it to the top. So that's kind of what you want. So now I'm going to look roughly how much I need to take off. And better yet, take a pencil and mark a line where the powder comes to and then I will file down to that line that will ensure you get the exact measurement of powder you want
I got to that line. Dump any dirt out of it. And try again. This might take several tries of checking, but eventually you'll get it perfect. You know, file, drill, check. And that's always good when you get it right where the powder comes flush. So now I know that the measure is set to exactly what I want. The next thing I want to do is shape up the end of it. So I'm going to pour the powder back into the can for use later and I'm going to shape the end a little bit now because you have a hole in there you don't want to clamp too tight but I'm just going to take this file and Work that edge Now I have that kind of worked around that way I can get get it nice and close to the gun barrel. And I'm going to take some sandpaper and just sand the edge a little bit. And make it kind of pretty up the end. And the last thing you can do if you want is drill another hole on the end for a, if you want to attach a lantern or a lantern, lanyard. So I'm going to clamp it like that. Take a smaller drill bit. Get a hole marked. Now you got a functional powder measure. You know, I might clean this up a little bit with some paper, but this should do the job.